so now we'll talk about the nutrition in the human beings now the human beings we are we are the complex type of the organism we are not having like amoeba we are not having only one cell we are having millions and millions of the cells so that is why we are system our system is quite complicated so we are having the special kind of the systems uh, for the digestion for excretion for um, circulation everything we are having a special kind of the systems so we are having one more system that is called the digestive system so nutrition in the human beings the nutrition in the human beings takes place in the digestive system and it consists of the uh, alimentary canal now the alimentary canal is a word which can be explain all the digestive system to hold the digestive organs we can be use a one word called the alimentary canal which is having the glands uh, to produce such kind of the enzymes uh, for the breakdown of the food into the smaller molecules and now we will describe the digestive system in detail so now we can see this the organs name first of all start from the mouth then we have the esophagus then we having the liver then small intestine large intestine and anus and whole uh, in one word we can say the alimentary canal so now one by one we will we will see the functioning of the our digestive system first of all we can be just simply we can be divide this all the process into four steps number one ingestion of the food while we are eating the food we are ingesting it inside our body then digestion then absorption of the energy from the food then assimilation we are sending the all the nutrients to all part of the body with the help of the blood and finally the ejection it is removing all the waste material from the body so number 1 we will see the from mouth we will start when we are eating the food from our mouth we are having the teeth inside we are having the tongue so tongue and teeth will help to chew the food and uh, break down the food into the smaller particles and then we are having the saliva in our mouth with, with the salivary gland it will produce and saliva consists of the enzyme called the salivary amylase that is the enzyme which will start the breakdown of the starch into the sugar from our mouth only the digestive system or digestive process will be start in the human beings so starch will be broken down into the sugar with the help of the salivary amylase which enzyme is present in our saliva then our food will be go into the stomach with the help of the esophagus we having the esophagus it will transfer all the uh, food which uh, whatever we have eaten and it will send it into the uh, our stomach so stomach having the gastric gland which is produce the gastric juices which consist of the enzymes like hydrochloric acid mucus and pepsin now basically the hydrochloric acid will increase the ph uh, or will be make the acidic ph up to ph 2 that is very acidic ph and the advantage to make the acidic ph environment in our stomach that is first of all to kill the germs or bacteria which is coming in our food then the second thing it will provide a effective functioning for the pepsin pepsin need a acidic temperature on acidic ph it will uh, make it will break down the uh, our uh, food especially the protein into the it will break down the protein and then the second thing of our mucus the mucus is there which will protect the our internal lining of the stomach from the Uh, hydrochloric acid because it is uh, having the ph up to 2 so it is very high ph so it is protecting mucus is protecting the internal lining of the stomach with the harmful effect of the hydrochloric acid then the food will be transfer into the next part that is in the upper part of the small intestine called the duodenum so the duodenum is a food then it is mixed with the bile from the liver the bile it is released from the liver and then the pancreatic juices which is released from the pancreas and what is the function of the bile it is break down the fat into the smaller globules this is the fat globules which can be a simpler form of the fat and then the pancreatic juice it is having two more enzyme number one enzyme is trypsin and the second enzyme is lipase so the trypsin breaks down the protein and lipase breaks down the fat so with the help of these two enzymes the fat and uh, protein will be digested in this part then the remaining or the food will be transferred into the next part that is a in the small intestine so in the in this the intestinal glands are there which is release the some intestinal juices and that is the function of intestinal juices are they are uh, converting or cover, convert the carbohydrate into glucose the fat into fatty acid and the glycerol into the protein and glycerol and protein it will convert into the amino acids so here 
these all the things will be happen and in the next the food uh, it is the blood vessel it is having also uh, a projection finger like projection called the uh, villi so villis are there in our small intestine which is having or which is providing the more surface area for the absorption of the digested food whatever the 